The samples entry form is divided into two sections, the samples area and the aliquots area. You can choose to hide the aliquots area using the option underneath the corresponding menu. You can have multiple samples pages, so some of them may not need an aliquots area. Click the plus sign or samples page add page. To edit what fields appear in the aliquots area, right click the list view and select edit this aliquots form. The palette changes to include aliquots fields now. Drag and drop the fields you want onto the aliquots form just like with the samples section. The freezer assignment fields and the freezer graphic will give you the ability to assign freezer positions to aliquots during data entry. So make sure to have them on at least one aliquots page. You can add as many pages as you want to your aliquots form by clicking the plus sign or aliquots page, add page. Click save and close when you're done and notice how the fields you added to the aliquots form are now column headings in the aliquots area. They are in the order you added them, but you can change that order by clicking and dragging left and right. The plus sign in the aliquots area will add another aliquots form to the current samples page. These aren't like aliquots pages, but actually entire forms that you can add fields and more subpages to. A samples form can have many samples pages, which can have many aliquots forms, which can have many aliquots pages can't get much clearer, can it? Lastly, the action buttons to the left of the aliquots area can be edited. In the aliquots area menu, you can hide the buttons altogether, or just to create some space, change the organization to two columns. If you click the action buttons individually though, you can remove them or assign the actions to different buttons. What a user can do with aliquots on an entry form is entirely up to this configuration. Thank you, and until next time.